Hello, what's up everyone? How you doing? It is me, Lasty here. Welcome to day two, a brand new episode of the FIFA 23 Ultimate Team Road to Glory. Episode number 146, the start of a brand new week. Happy Monday to you. Uh, yeah, I hope you all have a, a wonderful week, a fun week, whatever it is you're up to. I hope you enjoy it and I hope it's successful. Um, hoping to do the same on the RTG this week. Uh, if you do enjoy if you enjoy the content, you enjoyed today's episode, do me a favour. Hit the thumbs up. Let's try and get 2,000 likes on this episode. That'd be brilliant. And of course, subscribe to my channel as well if you're new. Um, so we're pretty set on this team for the rest of the weekend league because I'd say it's kind of like my best way of getting my best players into the squad while still having only a couple of them off chemistry. Uh, so we'll deal with we'll deal with Pogba and Cancelo on on one chem each, and um, crack on with what is the last I believe seven games of the weekend league. So in we go. First opponent in this last little session then has an all right team. Regular Haaland though. I've seen that a couple of times this week, and I don't quite know why. Um, the the lengthy meta and the early days like Erling Haaland meta. I thought finished. I thought the only one we'd probably see going forwards is really like the, the team of the year. Maybe the ones to watch if he gets another inform or two. But um, yeah, no, people are still using him. I find myself 2-0 down. Uh, so <laughs> there's that. Uh, he can still sprint past you, no problem. Uh, and partner him up with someone who's got a little bit about him like David Ginola. And you're probably, probably looking at a, a decent, uh, decent little uh, squad or a decent little forward line. So it's fairly even at half time. So I felt like maybe we could get back into this one. Uh, and literally, off of kickoff, we end up running. I put a Super Sub Adama Traore on. It made a bit of a difference there and got me back to 3 2 really early doors. But then I gave a sloppy penalty away, um, which he scored. So within sort of not even 10 minutes of the second half beginning, there'd been a goal for each team. But obviously, that still keeps me a couple of goals down. And then when I got myself a. Uh, a cheeky penalty uh, going against me. I thought, oh, screw this. I'm, I'm, I'm done with that game. I dashboarded it. Did come back to... I must have had this yesterday, but I didn't even realise it. Uh, the Golden Goat is now ours and the Premium Foot Champions Trophy. We've now officially won 300 games in, uh, in, in Foot Champs. Oh, next guy pauses and quits at nil-nil. Cheers, mate. I appreciate it. Um, so we get on into the next game. I'm seeing gold cards again. However, I am seeing Alawiran and Mbappe and some some good cards in there. So I'm not gonna not gonna get overconfident in this one because I know that they can still do the business against me. But I do go one nil up, and then just before half time, I mean, look how lucky that is. Uh, I needed a bit of luck because the last few games hadn't been going well, and I believe we're currently seven and seven, looking to go. 8-7 and seven with this game. So we're 2-0 up at half-time. Probably don't deserve to be looking at those stats. Uh, but then Bale has come on, Adama's come on in the second half, and we just sort of somehow keep the ball there. Low shot, basically P-rolled it under the underneath the goalkeeper's arms, and we could get our 3-0 rage quit. Great stuff. Um, excuse me. Well, I actually even... I said excuse me before the cough this time. You guys are used to me saying it after the cough. I'm getting so polite. <laughs> anyway, we're up to 39 points. So I think that means we need three more wins, which must mean we are at eight and seven. We've done the maths correctly. Next guy's got a uh, player of the month, Messi, player of the month, Mbappe, some decent looking icons. Um, Garincha, though, instead of Jarzinho. Uh, and then obviously that Mbappe scores against me. He is just someone that I cannot play against. <laughs> and it's so frustrating because basically everyone who's been playing the game for a while, has got some form of Mbappe. I need that to change for me, I think. I need I need for, in some sort of rewards, I just need to pack a regular Mbappe. That'd be lovely. So it's about time, you know. It's February. It, w it wouldn't ruin the RTG. It's about time they just gave me that Mbappe in a pack. And I'm all for it. So uh, go ahead, EA. Do your best. Um, anyway, next game then, because we quit that one at 3-0 down. 8-8. Eight and eight. Four games to go, and we've got three wins to get. It's looking a bit ropey. Um, I don't normally get nervous, but I'm starting to get a bit shaky, you know. Uh, so 2-0 up against this guy quite early on, and he quits. That was good. That's good for the old motivation levels, uh, because that that has just 
made life a touch easier. Um, and now, you know, for me, seeing that I only need two wins now, I know I've only got like three games to go or whatever, but it's just decent. It just makes you feel like you can kind of do it, you know. If I needed three wins from three, then I'd feel a lot worse. You can't make a single mistake. Next guy gifts me a win. Legend. How are we? This was his team name. Um, yeah, muchos gracias, my friend. I appreciate that one greatly. So now I've got two games to get one win. And that's how I see it. And that is uh, <coughs> the way that in my head I'm like, all right, I've got a good chance here. Even if I mess up in this next game, I've got another chance after that to make it happen. We go 1-0 down after a minute uh, in the next game. But my opponent's team wasn't that great. He was just like, I don't know, it was full of like very, very fast players. Um, and he was pretty good at running with them. But I think I was better at scoring with my players. Either way, uh, as you can see, player of the month Rashford is through here. I can't quite choose the right defender to get near him. Uh, and he equalizes, makes it 2 all. A great ball from Zidane. The unselfishness there from Drogba to just knock it across to Cruyff. We can go 3-2 up before half-time. And actually, we can grab the ball right from his kickoff and go 4-2 up. That's a big goal. Uh, a two-goal gap at half-time there makes me think, yeah, I need to just... Just make yourself solid in defence. Don't do anything stupid. Don't rush the game. And we'll be all good. And then when I get the chance... Scored the fifth goal about the 60th minute. He quits. 11 wins in the bank. Let's go. Didn't think that was going to happen this week. No, I, I genuinely thought we were way off it at one point. So, nice little run of games that got me the victories there. Helped out in the end. And uh, I'll be honest, all of that was done on Friday. Um, whilst I was still feeling a little bit better, I mean... It, it was just, yeah, I just played whilst I was feeling all right. And then I spread the commentaries and the videos out over the last three days because I could hardly, uh, well, I could hardly hear anything. And obviously I'm quite bunged up still. I do apologize. So with that, the weekend league is done. Gave my last victory away, of course. Or my last game away, should I say. One of two 84 plus regular players. Two of those and three one of five foot champs players. What are we going to get from these today then? Can we get Hakimi? Well, we could get ourselves an 86 Hjoiberg. Actually, quite a lot of high-rated players in that one pick. Um, need it to be better than that, though. I want to see Hakimi. Oh, ooh. 88 Komen, 88 Tammy Abraham. In the end, I just take Komen. I don't really know why. Uh, I've already got the regular informed version of him, so I probably should have took Tammy. And then the final one, we get 86 Ruben Neves. Ah, no red Hakimi for lasty. That would have been the ultimate dream for this week's Team of the Week. We do get an 86 Dybala from the first player pick. Second player pick is going to give me an 87 Muller or a Militao. Obviously, we're going to take the rating at this point. Um, so not bad ratings, actually, for those five uh, player picks. I'll take it, I think. It's, you know, Even if we get nothing really from these packs, which who knows what we're going to get from the premium team of the week. Is it going to be a walkout one? It is. Hakimi, come on. Oh, Italian centre-back. That's an 85 Acerbi. All right. 85, 84, 83. Um, when I had a little look, I listed up the 85 because it was worth a tiny bit uh, more than discard. And the 84s and 83s, it was just worth me discarding them. So we'll do that in just a bit. Uh, and then for a 50k pack, that's going to be a classic Spanish 83, isn't it? That's a Luis Alberto. Could have been uh, Jesus Navas or Carlos Soler or Fabian. You know, the ones that we get every time. David Silver as well. Ultimate pack then. Come on. Future stars. Oh, no. This lights up. It's Emi Martinez. Oh, dear. Um, at that point, I thought, meh. 484s, I guess, is all right. But... Definitely hope for better, don't you, from an ultimate pack. I wanted to see like a promo card or a good inform. Um, something that was really worth a decent bit of value. So we haven't had that, I'm, I'm afraid. Unfortunately, it is what it is. Uh, but in terms of my squad, I really like Ramos. Uh, I'm so glad we've done him. I actually think he's super solid. Maldini... I wonder if we're coming to, towards the end of Maldini's usefulness. 
Because to me, I think he makes way more mistakes than Ramos. But whilst he's here, obviously he's like a good option for me to have. Um, no real complaints about the midfield free this week either. They did well. Cruyff has his moments of being super slow and rubbish and then super silky and amazing. Drogba has on and off games as well. So does Alawiran. Nuno Mendes was a little bit meh. And whilst he was nearly 10k up from what I paid for him, I decided to list him up. Take the money. He's probably about 100k now. <laughs> and Cancelo's brilliant. So, with Nuno Mendes, Nuno Mendes sold, we're at 230k. A Cherby to sell. A few players there to discard. At 85 in form is only like nearly 14k. That's kind of nuts to me. Um, I feel like if I'd have just kept him a little longer, it might have been a bit better. Anyway, I had a little check on the market. It was about 11k for for the uh, 84 in form. So I thought I'm going to discard that stuff and then I list up the 83 because I know 82s, 83s and all that sort of stuff are probably going to be uh, a little bit more expensive over the next month just simply because of that new upgrade thing that came out with the objective to unlock the, uh, uh, is it Tava Tavares? Uh, you can do 50 82 plus player picks and you get your Tavares at the end of it, but uh, it costs an 82 rated squad. So you got to do 50 82 rated squads, but you get a nice one of three 82 plus player pick from each one. So it'll probably work out nice and profitable. You probably get some really good fodder from that stuff, but at the same time, it seems quite a lot. 50 82 rated squads to get Tavares. You, you could look at it either way. I'm more in the fact that for the next month, we've got some decent upgrade packs that we can put stuff into if we want to. Um, get a half decent card at the end of it as well. And that's how I'm going to that's how I'm gonna see it, I think. But uh, anyway, it's a short video. I'm going to go and spend the rest of the day in bed. Try and get over this man flu, whatever it is. Doctor's appointment tomorrow. We move. Thank you for watching today. If you've enjoyed, do me a favor, smash the thumbs up. 2,000 likes would be amazing. And subscribe to my channel if you're new. Cheers. Oh, I nearly made it to the end without another coffee fit. Uh, uh, yeah, I can't remember what I've said. Follow me on social media. Have a great day, everyone. Take it easy. Stay safe and healthy. All being well, I'll be back tomorrow. Peace.